Hello everyone, this is Contemporary Philippine Arts from the region, Quarter 1, Module 4. Our topic for this week is National Artist of the Philippines. So after going through this module, you are expected to identify Philippine National Artists and their contribution from Contemporary Arts, explain Filipino artist roles, and appreciate the value of Philippine Contemporary Artists. So all of this will be tackled in our video. So this is a picture of Duterte um, recognizing the different uh, artists of the contemporary world. May mga familiar sa akin dito. We have Ryan Kayabiak over here. I think this is Ben Cab of Baguio. And the others, I cannot recognize, but let's try to determine who they are. So we have the National Artists of the Philippines. They are very important for our culture and society. Kasi kung wala sila, we cannot be recognized as Filipinos because of uh, the Filipinos are doing now. Like, mas maginugusto natin ang, ang foreign uh, and, uh, works kesa sa, sa Philippines. So, well, we cannot um, do away with that because we were colonized by a lot of um, foreign nationals like the U.S., the Spaniards, the Japanese. Yeah. So by its definition, a national artist is a Filipino who made a significant contribution to the development of Philippine arts in the fields of music, dance, theater, visual arts, literature, film, and architecture. A Filipino individual who should have been awarded the highest national recognition for the arts, namely National Artist Award. In Filipino context, it is also known as the Gawad Pambansang Alagad ng Sining. Ng Sining is the highest national recognition given to Filipino individuals who have made significant contributions to the development of Philippine arts. The order is concurrent, administered by the National Commission for Culture and the Arts and the Cultural Center of the Philippines and conferred by the Philippines or the President of the Philippines upon recognition recommendation by both institutions. So, hindi po pwedeng maging national artist ang isang tao without the recommendations from these two options. We have the NCAA, NCCA, and the CCP. So, the order proclamation number 101, 1001 dated April 27, we have, this should be 1972. The Order of the National Artist Award or Organ ng Gawad Pambansang Alagad ng Sining was established. It gives an appropriate recognition and prestige to Filipinos who have acclaimed themselves and made a remarkable contribution to Philippine arts and letters. The first awardee was Fernando Amor Solo. So on May 15, 1973 under the proclamation number 1144, the CP CCP Board of Trustees was named as the National Artist Awards Committee. The Presidential Decree 28 that was issued June 7, 1973 reiterated the mandate of CCP to administer the national awards as well as the privileges and honors of national artists. So we have the Order of National Artists. This aims to recognize the Filipino artists who have made the significant contributions to the cultural heritage of the country. Sabi ko nga, um, we have been uh, noted that some of the Filipinos now, because of the colonizers, we don't have, have the same identity as Filipinos. Next, we have the Filipino artist accomplishment at its highest level and to promote creative expression as significant to the development of a national cultural identity. And then, of course, the Filipino artists who have dedicated their lives to their works to forge new paths and directions for future generations of Filipino artists. At least, meron tayong, meron silang uh, ginawang parang model sila for Filipino artists na um, to make uh, their own identity as Filipinos. Baka mamaya, isa sa inyo ang maging isang Filipino artist na para sa national 
award. No, di ba? Hindi natin alam. So, there are seven categories under which national artists can be recognized. The first one is on literature. So, sila yung gumagawa ng poetry, fiction, essay, playwriting, journalism, and or literary criticism. Um, recently, there was this woman who was recognized of Nobel Prize winner. We have yung sa, uh, sa Rappler. I cannot remember the name, pero just recently na recognized siya, Nobel Prize uh, winner siya on literature, more on journalism. Lisa, was it? Then we have film and broadcasting or broadcast arts, direction, writing, production design, cinematography, editing, camera work, and or performance. And usually ito, marami tayong mga magagandang films na talagang tumatak na magaganda talaga sila. Um, we also have architecture design and art, arts. We have architecture design, interior design, industrial arts design, landscape, architecture, and fashion design. So, we also have that of the music. Uh, parang kanina, nakita ko si Ryan Kayabiab. One, he was um, given an award, pero I do not think it's uh, as a national artist. So we have singing, composition, direction, and or performance. Of course, we also have the dance on choreography, direction, and or performance. We also have theater, so direction, performance, and or production design. And visual arts, this is the last. Painting, sculpture, printmaking, photography, installation art, mixed media works, illustration, graphic arts, performance arts, and or imaging. So, what are the classifications for National Artist Award? Ito, nagkaka, nagkaroon ng uh, naging issue. Kasi parang may isang kilalang artist na ginawaran ng National Artist Award pero hinarang nila. Actually, dalawa yung na, na pa, napabalitan noon. So, these are the qualifications. The first one, the living artists who are natural born Filipino citizens. Please take note, living artist. So actually, um, they gave uh, Fernando Po Jr. a National Artist Award pero posthumous. Ibig sabihin, uh, binibigay ito sa mga patay ng uh, individuals. Pero parang nagkaharangan yata. Something like that. Another was uh, intently given to Nora Honor, pero parang um, she had issues on drugs yata, kaya hindi siya, hindi nag-push through yung, yung National Artist Award niya. Another, the content and form of their work have produced in building a Filipino sense of nationhood. Yung parang nagkaisa ang mga Pilipino. Huwag, mo, huwag niyong intindihin na baka nandyan si Pacquiao, ha? An artist who have developed a mode of creative expression or style and leaving a legend on succeeding generations of artists. Okay. So, meron siyang uh, kakaiba na ginawa. An artist who manifests excellence in the practice of their art form. Later on, we will, you will see the different uh, artists, national artists who, who made it to the top Bakit sila naging ganon? Bakit sila naginawaran? And the artwork made has attained an international and national recognition. So, hindi naman porket nakita mong maganda yung artwork niya, ay, ito maganda. Magiging National Artist Award siya. No. Kailangan medyo na, na kita siya internationally. So, we have the insignia of the Order of National Artists. The insignia is from the grand color featuring circular links depicting the arts and eight-pointed sunburst suspended from a sampagita wreath in green and white enamel. Of course, bakit eight-pointed? Of course, nakuha yun sa ating um, flag, Philippine flag. The center of the badge is divided into three equal portions in red, white, and blue. Representing, of course, the Philippine flag with three stylized letters letter case that stand for CCP's motto we have katotohanan, kabutihan at 
kagandahan. So, true, good, and beautiful. The grand color is made from silver gilt bronze. Ito yan. So, ayan, yung nakita, yung sinabi niya, we have yung the different um, parts yung sa panang sun and then divided into three parts. Para siyang H, pero actually, it's a K, parang alibata yata ito ng letter K. So, kagandahan, katotohanan. It's the other one I cannot remember. So, this is instead, hindi siya letter H, kundi letter K ito. And then, it's bronze. Bronze. Eh. So, meron siyang wreath din dyan. So, that's the wreath. Okay? So, that is the insignia of the national artist. Kapag meron ka nito, ibig sabihin, you are a national artist awardee. So, we have the different national artists of the Philippines. Remember, ilan lang itong mga to. Hindi siya every year nagbibigay sila or every now and then nagbib, um, na gugustuhan nila nagbibigay sila. No. So, uh, hindi siya basta-basta nakukuha. In architecture, we have Juan Nakpil, Pablo Antonio, Leandro Viloxin, Ramon Valera, Jose Maria Zaragoza, and I.P. Santos. Ang kilala ko lang dito is Juan Nakpil kasi yung Nakpil Street sa Manila. Pero actually, hindi ko siya kilala. <laughs> Pero because of the street, yun lang yung familiar sa akin. Then we have the dance. We have Francisca Reyes Aquino, Leonor Orosa Gokinko, Lucrecia Reyes Urtula, and Ramon Obusan. I, I do not recognize them. Sa film, we have Gerardo De Leon, Lino Broca, Ishmael Bernal, Ede S. Romero, and Manuel Conde. Ang kilala ko dito was Lino Broca. Uh, he was, he was uh, very familiar in in making films about the the third sex or the the gay and the lesbian kasi isa siyang ganon then we also have Ishmael Bernal marami rin silang mga itong si Ishmael Bernal marami rin siyang mga films regarding um sa Filipino culture I do not know if he was the director for Bata-bata, paano ka ginawa ang gapo? In literature, marami sila. We have Amado H. Hernandez. You will see this, uh, you, you see this name, Amado Hernandez, in your Filipino literature books. Yan. Siya yung ibang authors ng mga stories natin sa Filipino. We also have Jose Garcia Villa. Nick Joaquin, yun, medyo familiar din sa akin. Carlos P. Romulo was the, the, naging UN um, chairperson. Siya yung pinakamataas noon sa United Nations. We also have Francisco Arcelliana, NVM Gonzalez, Carlos Quirino, Edith L. Tiempo, F. Chanil Jose. This one, si Chanil Jose, F. Chanil Jose. I think this is a priest. Tapos, may kwantin siya sa, sa newspaper. Meron siyang um, sinusulat doon. I cannot remember if it's Manila Bulletin or uh, Daily Inquirer. And then we have Virgilio S. Almarillo, Ben Pinido Lum Lumbera, Lazaro Francisco, and Cirilo F. Bautista. In music, we have Antonio J. Molina, Jovita Fuentes, Antonio Benaventura, Lucrecia Casilag, we also have Lucio de San Pedro, Felipe Padilla de Leon, Jose Maceda, Levi Silerio. Ito lang ang familiar sa akin from, from that of the music. See, uh, Mr. Levi Silerio. Uh, he was a good, um, parang gumagawa ng music. And then, may, may time pa noon, nung bata kasi ako, I, I, I saw him. He, he used leaves, mga dahon, to make sounds para sa music. So, he was the one. 
um, I think siya yung gumawa ng may pumukol sa pipit sa sanga ng isang kahoy. I think he was the one. Then we have also Ernani Hosan Cuenco, Andre Veneracion, Francisco Feliciano, and Ramon Santos. In theater, we also have Honorata Atang de la Rama. Um, this is, I think, masyado siyang panon sa 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 radio atang delarama ay I think so napapaghalata yung aking edad and then of course we have Levi Silerio we also have Wilfredo Maria Guerrero Rolando Estino Daisy Avellana and Severino Montano and visual arts eto medyo marami akong kakilala so we have Francis uh, Fernando C. Amor Solo Carlos Botong Francisco we also have Guillermo E. Tolentino, Victoria Edades, Napoleon Ab Abueva, Vicente Manansala, Cesar Legaspi, Fernando R. Ocampo, Arturo R. Luz, J. Elizardo de Navarro, Ankyo Koch, dito siya kay Kong, Jose T. Hoya, Abdul Marie Asha Himao, we have Ben Cab, uh, if you are familiar with the Ben Cab Museum in Baguio, siya ang may-ari we also have Francisco Aguilar Alcoaz and Francisco Cochin. Uh, bakit hindi binigyan yung mga, mga dating artists noon? Kasi, 1972 lang ito na, na nagawa, di ba? Yung, yung pag, pagbibigyan ng award. And then of course, um, isang qualification dun is living. Dapat buhay. So, all the rest, yung mga naggumawa ng ating mga, mga, mga artists namin noon, hindi sila na-recognize as national artists because they already had passed away. Namatay na sila. So, we have those, uh, some of the works of the Philippine national artists. The first one, you have here the oblation. Ito sa UP. So, by, made by Guillermo Tolentino. So, it represents a gesture of sacrifice and freedom. Ang sabi nila, the model was the father of Fernando Poe Jr. So, this is, this was Fernando Poe Sr. Or was it the kapatid? I'm not so sure. So, uh, that's it. We also, they have this oblation run na ginagawa sa mga bagong kasapi ng kanilang um, kanina what do you call this group mga kaugama yung mga ganon so they have this oblation run they run uh, sa UP campus naked pero meron silang pan sa sa ulo meron silang uh, mas sa ulo para hindi sila ma-recognize pero alam mo na naman yung belt ng katawan ng kaibigan mo tapos nag-run siyang ganyan we also have Fernando Amor Solo this is he was known for its romantic paintings of bucolic landscape and idealized portraits of well-known individuals from the commonwealth period and the second world war his works can be seen at the National Museum. So, yung mga artworks niya, puro magaganyan, mga napaka simple ng pamumuhay, yung mga yan. So, we also have the landscapes. Makikita niya, uh, if you would search the internet, marami kayo magkikita ng works niya. We also have, in the Bitara School of Business, we have Jose Tanig's Hoyas Mural, we have the barter of Panay. This is a mural. So, abstract expressionist style which consists of soft overlapping planes of black, white, orange, brown, and golden yellow. So, mural naman siya. And this one is found in UP, the, whole, the Church of the Holy Sacrifice, inaugurated 1955. This was credited to be the first Catholic church in the country that were able to employ a circular architecture 
So, hindi siya yung regular na mga church na rectangular siya. This one is circular. And if you're familiar kung napupunta kayo ng La Union, meron na rin sa Kaba. Uh, that's my hometown. Yung Catholic Church is also circular. Meron din sa yung pinuntahan kong kasal sa Las Piñas, circular din. But this one is the first. So, intricate mathematical computations, the increasing popularity of concrete, its service building material enabled the smooth rounded church construction. The said church is recognized as a National Historic Landmark as well as a cultural treasure by the National Historical Institute. Um, so this one, I'll try to give you uh, a short or just just a brief. So this one is by Jose Maceda, Dr. Jose Maceda. He was um, okay. He was very. Then we ought to look at me because there's a manner of walking. Another thing that's probably not very important is extend your arm. Okay. Extend your arm forward. Extend your arm really high. It is a ritual. You are showing off. These are a pair of good, nice sticks. So show that. So, Dr. Maceda, um, he's very, uh, he was known for using indigenous musical instruments like bongo buzzers, clappers, and the like. So, uh, meron siyang ginawang kanta, yung pagsamba, wherein may mga combination of the different uh, indigenous musical instrument. So, the UP Center for Ethnomusicology was also founded by him, where he donated his valuable collections of sound recordings, field notes, and the like in eth ethnomusicology in the Philippines and South East. Asia. Ibig sabihin, nag-aaral nag siya actually ng ethnic music uh, sa Philippines, sa different uh, ethnic areas ng Philippines uh, wherein they use the different types of um, musical instruments. Bamboo, mga yun. So they use that. In line with this, he was recognized by the UNESCO Memory of the World. So, so that's it. You will be you will be answering this one. What's more, activity for uh, week one, uh, quarter one, week four. So you answer. You just answer some of these uh, questions. Um, what else? So far, yun palang naman. And then I will give you your quiz on. Friday. So that's it for now. Bye-bye.